as climbing the sheer face of a cliff. It takes courage and determination to climb the seven summits, the highest peaks on each of the world's seven continents. What does it take if you're blind? According to legendary blind athlete Eric Weinmayer, one of only a hundred mountaineers in the world to climb the seven summits and the only blind climber to reach the top of the world, Mount Everest, it takes something else. It takes knowledge and a firm belief that you can achieve your dream. It takes courage and determination to achieve an education. What does it take if you're blind? It takes access to textbooks and learning materials at the same time as your sighted peers and the firm belief you can achieve your dreams. That's why the American Foundation for the Blind, Verizon Communications, and Eric Weinmayer have joined together to introduce a new career in America, Braille Textbook Transcriber, that will change the lives of America's blind and visually impaired school children. Because literacy lets you reach the summit of your dreams. Okay, I'll open this wild map. Wild All children deserve the same opportunity to achieve their dreams. The dreams of these students depend on their having access to Braille textbooks. Meet second grader Lala, whose voice we just heard reading aloud from her Braille text. Hayel, a tenth grader. Katie, a ninth grader. Mary, a senior. And Chad, a third grader. Just like any other person, print. You read a book and um, you learn from reading print. Just like me reading Braille, I learn from reading Braille. Um, like everybody says, you know, you never stop learning. Well, I have my Braille book so that I can use it in class. It makes me feel like I can learn um, as much as a sighted reader can. And it makes me feel good because um, I can do everything a sighted student do in class, and I can learn as much as they do. And I hope that there can be um, the offering of Braille textbook in college also, so that it, it will make it easier for me to go through college and um, um, got a career that I want to. It's very important for people to learn Braille as early as they can and to have really good Braille instruction, because if you can't read, it's really hard to do anything else. And the problem is you really can't have mainstreaming without her having the same materials that everybody else has. The only thing that has been a little frustrating is sometimes the books have arrived late, like six weeks late. And in my freshman year, I had an algebra book that didn't show up. Like uh, it was a brand new adoption of the book, and it's extremely hard to get those in Braille. And I was getting volumes of it all through the year, but it was never what I needed. And so my teacher was having to take assignments out of another whole different older algebra book, and it was just a big mess. If, if I didn't have a textbook, I would be like, I can't find that page, or what page is that? I couldn't find that at all because I didn't have a textbook. When I, when I started reading Braille, I think I was like four years old, and then I've been reading I'm sure I'm 10 right now, and I'll be reading Braille the rest of my life. This career, Braille Textbook Transcriber, will ensure that students like Lala, Hael, Katie, Mary, and Chad have the textbooks they need when they need them. But what exactly is a Braille Textbook Transcriber? The American Foundation for the Blind has led the national effort in working with the community college system to develop a curriculum that will be offered across America. AFB's Mary Ann Siller explains. The new career, Braille Textbook Transcriber, addresses the critical shortage of Braille transcribers and the critical needs of blind and low vision school children to receive textbooks and learning materials at the same time as their sighted peers. These needs are compounded by the fact that the classroom has increasingly become a visual environment, relying on the use of the internet, multimedia text, and visual demonstration materials. Through the new college-based curriculum, Braille textbook transcribers learn how to convert publishers' files, including text and graphics, into Braille. This is a career that requires specialized training and meets a real and continuing need in America. 
Carl Augusto, President and CEO of the American Foundation for the Blind and Verizon Literacy Champion Eric Weinmayer put the importance of literacy and this critical national campaign in perspective. Helen Keller said, while they were saying among themselves it cannot be done, it was done. At the American Foundation for the Blind, we strive every day to give those words meaning. We are proud to lead this national initiative. As a former teacher, I know that literacy is the key that unlocks the potential of every child. The ability to learn, to discover, to succeed is tied to the ability to access textbooks and learning materials. Too many blind or visually impaired children in America are denied this access or their textbooks and materials come late because there aren't enough professional braille transcribers to handle the need. We can change that. In fact, we are changing that. We've created a new career in America, a valued and important career in Braille textbook transcription. The beneficiaries of this new career are blind or visually impaired school children across America who have equal access to textbooks and equal opportunities to achieve their dreams. I've touched the top of the world, and I want to give all children who are blind and visually impaired the same opportunity to achieve their dreams. Literacy lets you reach the summit of your dreams. Join the American Foundation for the Blind and Verizon in support of this important national literacy initiative, the National Campaign for Literacy, Textbooks, Transcribers, and Technology. Call 800-232-5463 or visit our websites at verizonreads.net and afb.org. The American Foundation for the Blind thanks Eric Weinmayer, who is donating his time and energy to support literacy for America's blind and low vision school children. Variety.